channel today we are looking at a repeat board you would remember a little while ago we looked at the the, the Revel uh, two-wheel drive kit that's the direct drive with the uh, slider remote control well we've now got the four-wheel drive kit to test out and review and um, give feedback on and show you guys now I've mounted it onto a Transite deck it's a nice flexy bamboo maple one a little bit of flex not too bad Nice concave sides, it should be fun to ride. We've got the, uh, both of them have the extended range battery. So we're gonna test this out today. Obviously the main feature of these boards are it's direct drive, so it's whisper quiet. Um, it is removable batteries, so you can go for the travel friendly or the standard range battery as they call it, which is 144 watt hours, which is very handy when you wanna travel. You can slide the battery off. You can even just find a board when you get there because it's four bolts and it goes straight on. The other factor is that you can be two wheel or four wheel drive. So I've mounted this onto the board, I've turned it on, I've paired the remote control and it peers so easily. You literally pair it and it goes zzz, zzz, two wheel drive or four wheel drive. A very steep hill here. Um, so yeah, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, you pair it, it makes a vibration, asks you, you want two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it said four wheel drive. You turn the kits on and it just instantly connects. It's that simple. You then go through and you set your brakes, you're gonna have 50, 75, or 100% brakes. I've got 75% set, seems to be ample. You can choose miles per hour, kilometers, uh, and you can also check, uh, you can also choose your wheel diameter. And with the new upgrade, you can now do wheel diameters to the millimeter, so 107, 108, 120, and so on. So your speedo is very, very accurate on the remote control. Another thing that's coming for this board, it's coming, it was supposed to be out this year, but again, with uh, our, our good mate Corona, or COVID, everything's been delayed. Um, there is an app coming out, which will link to these boards. Now it's already built into these boards, so you can choose to have Bluetooth on or off when you do the pairing. If you see that, that's purely to do with the app control, which is not out yet, but we'll see it early, early next year, I've been told. So, I've been riding this board now. I got this kit probably about a month ago, and I've been riding it, and it is an absolute powerhouse. Uh, probably it is the most powerful board I've got you know I had the four-wheel drive ivory board well this is a step above that purely because it's even smoother nicer power predictable remote control and so on so look at this hill this is a steep hill I'm not even speed mode I'm not even in, in speed mode 4 and we are flying up here 25 26 kilometers per hour now, if I was to put that into speed mode four, I reckon I'd get a jolt and get even more speed. I've never had a board make it up here before. You can do it! This is very, very steep. And we are just flying up here. We're not losing any speed. 25 and sticking on 25. Wow. I didn't expect to make it up there, but I'm really happy we did. <laughs> So hill climb is a massive tick. I am gonna put this through the same, um, I'm gonna put this through the same hill climb shootout we did a little while ago. I'm gonna pair this against a couple of other very high power boards. So we'll put this against the current winner, which is the Vareel RS. I am we'll also put it against a couple of others. So comment below what you'd like to see this go up against and we'll make sure that video happens. If I've one got the boards or I can get my hands on the boards. But obviously we want to make sure it's um, semi-relevant semi or semi-equivalent. We don't want to put this up against a, a, um, a, a uh, Lacroix or something, which is obviously going to just beat it hands down. But this has a lot of power. Now the beauty of this is that it has a whole heap of power, but it's still, you can still, I don't know if you can see that, watch this, where's the board? Hopefully you can see that. You can still, oh, this is a bad deck for it, but you can still pick it up and carry it if you need to. 
Now the whole thing's probably weighing around 12 kilos at a guess. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. The whole thing's weighing around 12 kilos. So it's not that heavy. And as far as the carvability goes, it's a really nice carvy board. Now I'm just gonna put this back into mode two because we just don't need mode four or three or four. So this is mode two. I don't know if you can see how smooth that is, but it's very, very smooth and predictable, which is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on about that a little bit because that's the main, that's the main point with this particular setup. There's other four wheel drive boards out there with bigger wheels or smaller wheels or whatever. I'm running 97 Evolves on this and the predictability and the smoothness, this will never accidentally throw you off if, if you're ready for it. Um, very, very, very nice. And that's my, honestly, take away the four wheel drive, only give me two wheel drive, whatever. But give me this ESC and I believe this is a Hobbywing ESC that it's the only hobby wing that does a paired uh, four wheel drive option. According to hobby wing, they don't even make it. Um, but if you dig deep enough, you find out that this is hobby wing origins, which is exactly why it's so smooth. Now let's just go for a ride and uh, we'll give you some more feedback as we go. Let's have a quick look at its top speed. For this, we'll go into obviously speed mode four. We'll have the app running on my phone. Let's hit do that now. Uh, record screen, make sure it's good to go. All right, speed mode four, a pretty full battery. Uh, that's my usual spot. So if it's about 250 meters long. Wow, oh, this is fast, man speed wobbles there okay I'm backing off I'm getting wobbles Woo. okay 42.4 but I had a lot more to give I think I need to um, put it on a stiffer board bugger okay so the speed on this is very very nice uh, 42.4 42.2 there, definitely had a lot more to give. I think this will hit, I think this is 45 on the website. I think it'll pass that to be honest. And don't forget I am 100 kilos. Now, if you can hear that noise, let's be quiet and listen. I crushed a bearing when I was doing up the wheel. Literally, I got to my filming spot, got all unpacked and I realized I had um, slightly crushed one of the bearings. So that's not the motor at all. It's just me being silly with my, um, my bearing maintenance. So I apologize for that. Now, as you can see, turnability is no problems. I was skeptical with the four wheel drive. I thought maybe the four wheel drive could be a little bit hard to turn or carve, but. There's no issues there at all. It's, it honestly feels like a really normal skateboard. Oh, here's a big hill. Let's put this into four. Okay, this is a really steep hill. Let me turn you around. There's a car coming, so I'll get off the road. Okay, this is one of the very steepest hills around here. You can see there by the angle of the cars. I haven't measured it, but it's definitely over 20%. Now I'm on the hill already. So we're going to start from a standstill. Let's see how we go. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm just going to kick to hop on. That's all. Okay. No problems there at all. Whoa. 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Okay. 20 K now up this hill is crazy. Look behind me. That is so steep. 22. Wowzers. Okay, that's a very steep hill. So 
100% loads of power out of those direct drive motors. All right, so rideability, very, very nice. Hill climbing, it's a given, that's incredible. That's just knocked my socks off how powerful that is. Oh, the other thing, I should have said this at the beginning. They are now doing the pulleys, or the adapters, let's call them, because that's not a belt drive. They're now doing the adapters, this is a really rough road. They're now doing the adapters for the new cloud wheels. So I'm not sure if it's included, I have a feeling it is, but when you order the board now, when you order a kit, it comes with um, ABEC clone, obviously ABEC core. It comes with uh, orangutan core. And it also now comes with cloud wheel discovery core, which is fantastic. Now, when I got the second kit, it came with the cloud wheel discovery core, but it only came with one set. So I'm gonna order a second set so I can put all four on this board. Cause that'll really make this thing a, just an all rounder, an absolute powerhouse. But with the, the, big, the big wheels for the, all that extra, extra clearance and um, extra sort of, I guess, not all terrain or off road, but those big gaps you get around the city and so on. So must, must mention that, that yeah, you can now put the cloud wheel discoveries on the setup, which is a, a big plus for big addition. So let's end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the Revo four-wheel drive kit gets two massive thumbs up, as I knew it would. As I mentioned, I've been riding this for about a month and a half now, and I've had no issues, no problems, no disconnects. Um, I'm very, very happy with the power, the speed, the hill climbing, um, the durability. It all seems to be doing a very, very good job. We are gonna do a whole separate video on this. Uh, two more, actually, videos on this. We're gonna do the full range test, which we'll do around Sydney. Uh, and then we'll do the hill climb shootout. We put it against other boards. So comment down below what you'd like me to see, what, what you'd like to see me put this against. We'll definitely do the Avaril RS because that is the hill climb leader at the moment for my hill nearby. But what else should I put it against? Uh, also, I need to I obviously need to say this, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, the more people who subscribe, the better the channel grows, the better opportunities we get to review and test and recommend to you guys uh, out there being the public. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember, always wear a helmet, skate safe, and we'll see you on the next video.